Obscure. And today I'll be playing Super Mario Odyssey. So yeah, if um, <laughs> I was struggling to think where I'd play this game in terms of our YouTube channel. Um, yeah, it kind of struck me that you don't get much more obscure than this. Come back a little froggy. He's calmed down. Yeah, so I'm just going to muck around in you know, Odyssey. I'm quite far in it. I've, well, I've completed it conventionally. I'm not going to go to any of the really late stuff because I don't think I don't want to spoil anything. This little dude is cool. I don't really know what the purpose of this thing is. I don't know if I'm meant to be catching the dinosaur. Capturing the dinosaur. What do they call it? Oh, no. So he's not happy with me. Oh dear, that's me dead. So let's go to another level. I have planted a seed, which is going to get me out of here. I like the um, sort of roguelike element of half the year. Well, you get all your ten coins back when you die, if you can find out where you died. A bit like um, Rogue Legacy. Oh. I'm playing on a pro controller. Let's clamber out of this nightmare. You can shape the controller around and gain some of the advantages of motion controls, which I haven't found too overbearing. Oh, there's the Odyssey itself, my spaceship. So, I'm going to go somewhere else. Found the moon while I was down in that wooded, wooded abyss. So yeah, you can see I'm quite far, head off to another kingdom, set sail. Which one would be a good one to show? I'm going to go to the Metro Kingdom, there's lots been seen of this, I'm sure. Screen, yeah, um, it's certainly one of the weirder Mario games to have come out, and it's nice to see them go kind of bonkers with it while also tying into older games. I get like um, kind of ser serious uh, Super Mario Land vibes. Game Boy and Super Mario Land 2, sort of going to the moon. Well, it's kind of a spoiler, but you do go to the moon at one point. You've got his aviator costume, which kind of harkens back to his, there's all the fly, flying sections of Super Mario Land. And there's all the stuff going on in the pyramids with sphinxes and stuff like that. Super Mario Land, yeah, it's. I haven't read it anywhere, but I kind of get a big Super Mario Land vibe from it. Which is cool. And then obviously Mario 64. And uh, Mario Galaxy as well, so the big 3D platformers it plays like. It's just a great sandbox to run around in, really. Planted that a while ago, found it in the city, and got another moon. So these moons at this point in the game are purely collectible. So like I've done everything I need to do, my little spaceship can go as far as I want it to go. 
but I'm still finding, I mean, some moons are just like that. And then I'm still, I'm still finding quite major things to do in the game. And I'm over 30 hours in, so it's cool. I don't know what this football does. Apart from the obvious. Oh, is that another moon? Let's have a look. Oh, there's one there as well. <laughs> See, I'm still getting them left, right and centre. I feel good about getting these moons because they're not really spoiling anything. Can't tell you where the seeds are. There's another football. I'm not playing um, NFL Blitz. Uh, so yeah, the big mechanic that's been added to it, I mean, if you've not read about it already, is the ability to throw your hat certain elements in the game, using the right terminology, capturing, and what that, I don't know how to jump, uh, oh there's still two, he's got there, these things appear later in the game and there'll be like a platforming thing to do in here, so let's have a go at this, oh, Grand Theft Auto, mm -hmm. Good survey your surroundings for the second moon. And so you can capture this guy. I'm going to be cocky here. Oh no. <laughs> I liked his hat. Um, okay, get out of there. Oh, cool. Basic bikes physics, you can jump. Oh, shit, I'm not gonna make this. Oh well. Harvesting some coins. The kind of main purpose of me getting moons now is to get new costumes from Mario. Get. Oh shit. Too cocky. I think the risk reward there was good though, because I've got more than the 10 that I need to recover. Okay, I'll leave you this time. Don't worry. Generous with their bikes. There's a bit of a moon over there. Oh my god. Where am I going? Well, I can see where the second moon was. <laughs> I'll come back and do the rest of that another time. Apologies to anyone who's down below having a mooter, a mooter <laughs> scoot and land on their head. Right then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
hopefully you're getting the slightest idea of how much fun this is to play just by watching. Might go back to the Odyssey and try out a different level. Added to the shop, so that oh, I can go to the shop when we get to our next destination. I'm not sure not. Though I enjoy messing around in. Oh no! <laughs> Very polite. Next day, I'm not going to go much further into the game. I might. Uh, I might do a blur on a couple of the later kingdoms because I'd like, if anyone's watching this and hasn't had the surprise of what's to come, I think it's really worth it. And who am I to spoil it? That. Oh, I did. So it's a weapon as well, the hat. Cool. It's a lovely fizz when you land in the water because the water's carbonated, of course it is. This guy can give you hints of where moons are. At the base of a lighthouse. So I know if you can go find it. Right, where is the lighthouse? Is that the lighthouse? Yeah. A tricky moon here that I know about and it involves volleyball. I've got to hit this back to him a hundred times. It's inflated cheap cheap. And you can use your hat. This is to watch. I normally get to about 40 and then give up, not give up, miss it, and then think, oh, I don't do that again. There's so much more else, more else, so much else to do on the beach. For the 15 you need to get the first moon, but you can see it's greyed out a little before. Cappy, my cap, just told me that what I already knew that I can throw him or her I think it's him, to aid my volleyball. See, so there's a bit of a Generosity by the uh, my opponent, letting me ball land. There's another one of these in the sink metric kingdom. I was just in, which gives you you have this skipping jump rope. Oh, thirty. No, I'm not playing again. Didn't swear there. We were looking for a shop. We went paddling away for a swim. Oh, let's go and look at those new items there in the shop. Music's very relaxing here. Some free coins there. I imagine we'll need quite a lot of coins to get this next reward. Hello. Two thousand coins to unlock that. Which is it gives me something to aim for in life.
um, the ten coin that you lose every time you die, I've never, I've never come close to uh, being completely out of coins. What's this guy wanting? This guy asks you for races. I'm not very good at these races at all. Um, let's see what I'm in. I'm hoping I can use a couple of those flowers to my advantage, but they, these Coopers... Ooh. Fuck, how am I going to get there? A lot of tapping going on. I won't win this. Second place, not bad. How the hell am I going to get there though? Third place, that guy just zoomed off. Oh, you probably got those flowers, you know. Goomba's just chilling out. Oh, bollocks. I say I didn't swear much, then I entered the race against these goons. Terribly. It's always very generous, they give me a couple of coins for my effort. Well, they have everything. <laughs> That's a lovely image. Um, <laughs> there's also an amazing photo mode, which I don't see very often about video games. Capture. I think those these guys might have helped me in my race. I might be sitting down there. I haven't found one moon yet. In this. Oh no, this is a bad idea. Deeper than I thought. So yeah, might go back to the Odyssey and do one more level quickly, and um, and then wrap up on this. Um, I don't want to shelf too much of it. I'm certainly only playing levels that have been advertised heavily, and I very generously didn't get any moons there at all. is the big one, the biggest level. Well, I'm still finding stuff to do in this level, which is cool. And I know that there's going to be a few moons for me straight away from the land, which is cool. Sorry. Just like that. Just like that. I didn't actually, I thought I had to get all of the seeds planted rather than, um, what am I saying? I thought I had to get um, all three before I could get a moon. So that was a nice surprise. A 
Let's just do this little bit. And then I'm gonna call it a day. This is whoop. Still all the same sound effects you know and love. I know how you do that. Oh, sorry dudes. I love where they just sort of uh, the uh What was that? Oh well, just go back about my business. Oh there he is. Huh. Oh right, there he is. So yeah, this has been <laughs> learning to love the obscure and it's Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, Mario's so upset about. Um it's a really wonderful game. Didn't really know where else to put this video. Um like I said, I'm gonna make a few adjustments to the video itself just to avoid any spoilers. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this very brief look at one of my favourite games of the year and maybe ever. Okay, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you.